Hand fighting system, here it is. We're attacking the collar and collar. The two pressures we're working with is when the guy is keeping you away or when the guy is pulling your neck. So he's keeping you in here or you stumble off and pulling you away. Trying to, to keep you away. Okay? Two of the basic pressures are the most common kind in wrestling. So we got it. We have to have a way to manipulate it in our favor. Okay? So here we go. This is how we're going to do this. We're going to do a time. Because, like I said, hand fighting is not a move. It's a movement. So there's small movement, so we have, but we have to do it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And get used to it. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to show you the movement. I'm going to break you with your partner, and then you're going to be on the clock. One guy is going to do it over and over and over and over and over for a minute. And then I'm going to say switch, and then you're going to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over in a minute. And then we're going to add to it. And we're going to add to it. And we're going to add to it. Okay? Before I break, before I start doing this, I don't, the last thing I'll say is I do not want you to break contact at any moment during your drill. Okay, so when you shoot, you know, when you, when you drill it, and I take a shot, and I can do this, and I can bounce around, okay, we get it. When we're working hand fighting, part of the mentality is don't let this hand breathe. So train that mentality in your workout, okay? So, when we start to come in here and start moving arms and things, I don't want to do it, shake my arms out and come back. Everything I do, I'm constantly touching my partner. Okay, first up, we're going to collar to collar, we're beating, we're beating the straight arm, okay? So, beating the straight arm, two ways to do it, post the straight arm, chop the straight arm. Bent down, you have to control it, you have to remove it. It's very hard to chop the bent arm. So, here, so what, what I'm going to do, he's going to have a collar, I'm going to have a collar, I'm going to thumb block, get him forehead to forehead. He's going to have this arm straight. I'm gonna make sure it's really straight. Boom. What I'm gonna do is this arm <coughs> is gonna come from the thumb block to the chop. I'm gonna chop his arm off of me. Now, notice the chop. I'm not hacking into him like this. I'm not hacking, 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 hacking. You'll be here all day. I'm taking it. I'm smacking the inside of his arm toward the side that can leave my head. This can't go, I'm not gonna go through my neck, I gotta take it off. So that's how I'm chopping, it's a slight angle. Straighten, chop. Okay, so when I chop, I jerk with, I chop with both hands. I'm, I'm, all, I'm obviously chopping his arm off of my neck, but this hand, I'm gonna go from his forehead to forehead, I'm gonna put his forehead right in my collarbone. Boom. This, this chop hand comes back around to the tricep. Watch this. Tricep. Now, I'm going to let him go back in. Boom. Do it again. Here. I'm going to move my butt away from the tricep hand toward the side of it that I have his head on. So that's, the, that's, that's my position. You start here. Pull, chop, tricep. And pull. Back in. Chop, tricep. And pull. Let it back in. Chop, tricep. Okay? That's what the drill's gonna look like. For one minute for one guy, one minute the next. Partner be a good partner. Pull. This is what I want you to have for a partner. I want you to have a collar tie. Over tie is collar tie so your back doesn't get exhausted. Hold yourself up. And collar tie. Same thing. It's the same tie. So say I'm number one man. I'm gonna go. I'll let it back in. I'll let it back in. When he goes, I hold the same thing. Chop, tricep. That's the guy. Okay? Chop, tricep. Feel the position. 